to the Final Four in Indianapolis begins on Bourbon Street for the Baylor Bears. Hi everybody, I'm John Morris from New Orleans where Baylor men's basketball is in the NCAA tournament for the second time in three seasons. Not since the halcyon days of the late 40s that Baylor went to back-to-back -back Final Fours as Baylor had this much excitement around the program. Baylor's not won an NCAA tournament game since 1950. Trying to change that here in New Orleans with an opening round game against Sam Houston State. The third seeded Bears look for a historic win as bracket play begins against the Bearcats. Ace done. He fires a three. Left wing. Bottom of the net. But Cinderella shows up first to the dance as Sam Houston races out to a 10-3 lead in the first five minutes. No game is a cakewalk at all in the NCAA tournament. After a timeout, Baylor looks to exploit its size advantage as Epe Udo ignites a 7-0 run that ties the game up. To Udo, 15-foot jumper on the left baseline is good. We came out and we seen with the defense they were in, so we were all kind of shocked. But starting off the game, you know, we were kind of nervous. We didn't know what was going on, but I just had to stay aggressive. You know, we didn't want to dig a too, too big of a hole for us. Though. Back to Udo, free throw line jumper it's good yeah, all day. Oh, that was great. Uh, all game long, they dared him to shoot, uh, and that's that, that's that's not likely. Um, you know, he's our third leading scorer. Great score gives you 20, 25 every night. Udo is a nightmare for the Bearcats on both ends of the floor, starting a fast break with a block. Starts the break the other way, and Quincy AC finishes with a two-hand slam. When he's not scoring on the offensive end, Udo looks like a point guard dishing out five assists. Udo feeds Anthony Jones, and he dunks it. This is a dream come true for Epic because he likes playing the point forward anyway, so the fact that he was able to handle the ball, he was an exciting man. Nice feed from Udo to Jones, and he dunks it again, and the Bears lead by two. And that's back-to-back. -back. Udo is the key for the Bears with 10 points and six boards at half. Udo from the free throw line, drive in, shot is good, and he's fouled. But the underdog Bearcats test Baylor's nerves, taking a 31-30 halftime lead. You gotta understand that this is the tournament. You know, this is everybody, every game it could be your last game. So, I mean, they just kept on coming. No matter what kept on coming, you no, know, we, we stayed aggressive. Epe Udo, right elbow, one dribble, shot up and in. Epe opens the second half with a jumper, and Baylor goes on a 7-0 run to start the half. Pass deflected, stolen. Lace ahead to Tweedy. Tweedy will lay it in on the breakaway. The pesky Bearcats will not go away, however, reclaiming the lead at 42-40 with 14 and a half minutes to play. Baylor answers right back, and this becomes a back and forth tussle featuring 14 ties and 15 lead changes. Udo finishes with 20 points and 13 rebounds. One hand floater is good. Quincy Acey breaks a 53-53 tie with an emphatic two hand jam. It's knotted back up at 55 with 2.29 to go when Acey puts Baylor in front for good. We knew it was gut check time. Uh, we knew, I mean, for Josh and Tweedy, like, Whenever coach came out the locker room, he made us stop and, and tell him uh, we're not going to lose this game. It's not going to be the last, last time y'all wear this jersey. Bears have numbers on the break. Done. Lost the ball, picked it up, Whoa. and he put it in. Oh, what a save by Lace Darius Dunn. All of us was just on the bench. He was like, it's just too close. We need to play Baylor basketball and get the lead up. So just came out and got a couple fast breaks. A steal by AC in the backcourt. Oh, the Dunn. The Bears get an 8-0 run when they need it most. And Baylor pulls out a 68-59 win to record its first NCAA tournament victory in 60 years. I will cry right now, but we got more games. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to save all that. But, uh, you know, it was just great. It's great to be a part of this.